These sellers need to get their house in order. I like to have just a bulldozer come right in here and just sort of blow through here. Sounds like a job for Lisa Laporta. That's what it's going to take to get you top dollar in a quicker sale. But it won't be easy. Ah! Ah! Next. Oh, oh. Today we get to meet Jim and Nicolette Lawrence, busy parents who are ready to pack up the family and move to the desert plains of Arizona. But before they can move to warmer temperatures, they need to get some red hot bids on this place. And we're here to help turn up the heat. What a wonderful, cozy home. Oh, thank you. So what happens in here? Um, this is where we really spend all of our family time. We play with our kids, we eat dinner, and spend time together. Good. Well, I can't wait to see the rest. I'm a videographer. Nick is a social worker. We have two children, so there's not a lot of stuff that gets done around the house. It shows. This is the lovely uh, kitchen. I know. Well, that this says a lot. Mm -hmm. I'm really sorry that uh, the world has to see this. It's bad. I'm looking around. This is me being tactful and seeing a mixture of styles and functions. Yeah. I think you need a team called Design to Sell. Very nice. So it's a very tranquil feel. It's almost unfinished in its yeah. tranquilness. We never almost. really got around to it. Yeah. Should we see more? Let's see more. Please. Similar homes in the neighborhood are selling for six hundred and fifty to seven hundred and fifty thousand dollars. It appears right now the market is slowing down a bit, so I'm not like, really optimistic. We're going to get the price we're asking, but you know, I got my fingers crossed. Tell me about this. Why are you moving on from here? Well, you know, we need more space, and um, we really want to be closer to family. Right. And, of course, your next house is going to be huge, because we'll make so much for this one. You can buy pretty much whatever you like. That's what we hope. Mm -hmm. There we go. Moving to Arizona, we're probably going to get twice the house for half the money, even if we take a little bit less here. OK, let's start the ball rolling. Time for a visit from our real estate expert, Shannon Freeman. Yeah, that's the part we're, we're worried about. Oh, Shannon, we're so grateful you've come. Oh, I'm oh. sure the sellers are, too. Fire away, Shannon. All in all, I'm very pleased. Luscious grass, good landscaping. It's a cute little cottage. You got nothing. <laughs> oh, I know that look. I was so excited. I thought we were going to be off to such a good start, and then we had to walk in the house. It ruined your day. You were so happy in the garden. I was. This is depressing. They've actually had to put the dining room table at an angle to accommodate these big, giant couches. The dining room is frightened of the living room. Yeah. That's one of the good rooms. Oh, boy. Wait for the kitchen. <laughs> wow. Yes. Wow. Yes. Wow. Yes. <laughs> I feel like I just jumped off of my space capsule and landed in another decade. I've got, got to address this. What is it? The stove is a beast. Why is it here? We've held on to the stove because, I don't know. Why do we still have that stove? The sink looks like a science experiment. I don't know what's going on Sweet here. Sweet in. Yeah. Oh, oh, sink. We have a laundry room right next to the sink. And then we have our home office right over here. So a buyer is going to walk in and be just completely confused by this room. Too much going on. This room, actually, I like to have just a bulldozer come right in here and just sort of blow through here. We hey, knew. We knew the kitchen was going to be bad. Right. This is the master bedroom. Honestly, I don't know where to start. No window treatments, mismatched furniture, too much of it, a dreary bed. We need it to be great, and it's just not even good. Sorry. Uh, we definitely need help with this room. Yes. Wow, the colors is interesting, but even more interesting oh. is this lovely piece of false stained glass that's got to go. Ooh, ooh, what's going on here? I don't know. Oh, it's a patched ceiling. Oops. Oh, the ceiling. There's something growing at the bottom of the shower door. When Shannon walked in and saw the shower, it was awful. Ooh, ooh. So humiliating. 
despite this experience, may I thank you for coming? Yes, yes, yes. I mean, Clive, I was depressed before, but I really have the blues now. I'm glad that's over. I'm very glad that's over. Are you ready? Yeah. It couldn't be any worse than that. Enter designer Lisa Laporta with $2,000 and a plan to address Shannon's many concerns. We are going to fix the things she mentioned, especially in this kitchen. Yay. Some people find these type of vintage appliances really cool. Do you have their number? Yeah. <laughs> Should we call them yes. and have them come and yes. take it? Please. We don't want people to walk into this kitchen and see it as a kitchen that's serving five other functions or four yeah. other functions. You have a desk area, you have your washer, and you have your kitchen, and you don't have an eat-in area in the kitchen, which is the most important thing. So we need to fix that. So we're going to be rearranging things, and we're going to be building in some additional cabinets Great. to blend with these cabinets. Great. We will also be ripping out all of the countertops and backsplash. Yay! Lisa's plan also includes paint, new floors, and window treatments. Finally, a French door will bring in more light and value. Let's go into the bedroom. All right. All right. Okay, this bedroom needs some help. It does. It really needs help. Right now, it doesn't feel like a master bedroom, but if we can sell this as a master bedroom, we can get you more money. Great, we want more money. Perfect. We need to clear away all the mismatched pieces of furniture. Now, I really like your bedding. Oh, I great. think this is pretty, and we can work with it because it'll allow us to spend our money elsewhere. Okay. We do, however, need to add a lot of throw pillows, some shams, a bed skirt, and really dress it up. Okay. Sounds, okay. That sounds great. All right, this bathroom has some issues. Yeah. Say. <laughs> yeah, like getting three people into it. Well, that's my <laughs> problem. We need to fix signs of damage or anything that would cause a red flag. Lisa also wants to clear out personal items and tone down the walls with a neutral paint color. So, I will see you guys on the first work day. Great. Great. I'm looking forward to it. All right, we're going to have fun. Coming up. Laporta, Dolly, now. Can our team take on this prehistoric kitchen? Okay, go. Or not. Wait, stop, 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 stop. Work day number one is next. Stay tuned. It's work day one at the Lawrence home, and designer Lisa Laporta is poised to crack her small but mighty whip. So let the work begin. Let's get this washer on down here. The fridge scares me. The washing machine will join the dryer in the garage. There we go. Laporta, Dolly, now, stack. There is a washing machine coming through. One, two, three. I think it's stuck. Shimmy. We've moved approximately a half inch. Oh. Ah! 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 I've got an idea. We need serious elbow grease and teamwork on this one. So let's all gear up. Mm -hmm. Be careful of that grate down there. You may want to pop that off. Job. You know what? It just took a little teamwork. I'm gonna build a little sliding platform here out of plywood. Excellent. We just can't. All right, guys. Operation removal done. Yeehaw! Yes. All right. Next job: updating the kitchen counters and cabinets. But first. Jim? Tear them out. We gotta tear out the countertops. Yeah, that'll be fun. Jim, wanna do the honors? Sure. To the dumpster. Now I chose this paint color because it matches your comforter. And I wanna try and save money by reusing that, so. Right. Ooh, it's pretty, I like it. I'm getting a little nervous about the noises we're hearing in the kitchen in there. When I saw the devastation in the kitchen, I wanted to just cry, actually, because it was so horrible that I couldn't imagine what it was going to look like when it was finished. It has to get worse before it gets better. Right. It's wonderful, wonderful. Mm -hmm. Excellent. Very nice. Feel with woodwork, the pencil should go behind the ear. He's pencil ready. 
This is gonna be the kitchen, and here are the baskets, and that's gonna be inside the case. All right, wait, stop, 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 stop. Sorry, my pencil fell out. <laughs> okay, go. All right. So that's, uh, that pretty much wraps it up for all the cutting, Clive. Now all we need to do is uh, just assemble it. So uh, I think we can carry on from here on out. You sure you can manage? Yeah. Yes. You quite sure? Oh, yes. Absolutely. All right. Coming up. We need to start moving. Lisa gets serious. Lots of work happening in one room. Right. Work day two is next. It'll be an all-nighter if it has to be. We have to get this done. Stay tuned. Since it's the beginning of our second workday, we need to start moving because we have a lot to do and we not do. a lot of time. So let's paint these cabinets. Okay. You nervous about the open house? I am. I'm excited. I just, there's so much work to do. I don't know how we're going to get it all done. But you have faith in me, don't you? I have faith. Excellent. We're gonna try something a little bit more difficult today, Jim. Instead of putting one solid piece of countertop in, we're actually gonna cut two pieces of countertop and seam them together in the middle. Uh-oh. So I definitely need your help on this. Is this because we need work to do, so you're gonna cut it in half and put it together? I like a challenge, Jim. All right. Actually, we don't have a long enough piece of the new laminate countertop, so Steve cuts two pieces to fit. It's time for us to spray the hinges and All right. handles. We sanded them. Mm -hmm. And so now we're just going to spray on a pewter spray paint that'll give it a, a more silver look. It's going to match our faucet and look great. Okay, that's exactly how it's going to look. How do you like it? Beautiful. Good. That's great. All right, Jim. Ready? All right, now that we got it cut, let's go see how it fits. By the way, I got to say, uh, great job on these new cabinets here. Yeah, we're not we're not actually quite finished yet. We still have to put the facing on these shelves right here, but uh, I think it's gonna look really nice. What do you think? I like the sink. your help in the other room. All right. We're going to go ahead and put up our sewn drapery panels. Hmm. And I'm counting on you to tie 24 consistent bows. And that is how this is going to hang on the rock. Wow. Now remember, by buying fabric for $1.50 a yard, mm -hmm. we saved a ton of money. We also have shams we need to stuff. How are you at stuffing shams? Hmm, can't say I've ever stuffed any shams. Stuff it, Steve. Okay. I got news for you. So there's a corner of the bedroom right there. It's never looked better. That's what I like. It is. Lots of work happening in one room. Right. Now it's time to make the bathroom sparkle. First step, degrunging. People do look inside showers at open houses. Oh, so okay. we need to really make sure this is clean. the blue in here is going to make it feel so much bigger and more appealing to house hunters. I can't believe I was scrubbing my bathroom on national television. That's the exact kind of elbow grease that's going to make you money. I need money. <laughs> and we need time. With the open house just around the corner, there's still plenty of work to do. The place is a mess and the open house is on Sunday. And I'm thinking, how are we going to get this done? 
Okay. It'll be an all-nighter if it has to be. We have to get this done. Nah. I'll go get the coffee. But we had a good day, though. We have added so much counter space and so much cabinetry. Mm -hmm. This is like a new kitchen. Now we're going to have a new floor. All right, get to work. I need to take a rest. <laughs> Just ahead, it's the moment of truth. Tell me how happy you are with the results. Very happy. We love it. As we reveal our work to a group of eager house hunters. Should we start? Yeah. yeah. Rush in. Woo. It's first come, first serve. Next on Design to Sell. Well, fine.